morning friends welcome back to my channel my name is Lynn and this is my little room homestead today is day 16 of vlogmas and it is also uh, the sixth day of Frenchmas today's flavor we have is spiced latte so yeah spiced latte I wonder how this is gonna taste um, <laughs> latte so I've got my milk, it's already heated. I might have to heat it up again because I only heated it for one minute, but you shall see when I take my first taste, my first test. <laughs> Today we are going to make egg toast. I'm so excited. I found this recipe on Pinterest and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to try that because it was just like too good to be true. So we are doing um, egg toast and the twist is, again, we are doing it in the air fryer. We made that banana bread and it was so good. Ooh, that one's like clear. It's like white. The other ones have been like a cocoa color, but that one was like all white. So this is spice latte. I love spices, like I love cinnamon and nutmeg, like all the pumpkin spices, those are the best. Uh, when I was a kid, I hated pumpkin pie, but now I just love pumpkin pie. All right, I think that's good enough. Here it goes. It smells really good. Mm. I got to mix it up a little bit more. It wasn't quite good enough. Cause I had a, like a little taste of um, powdery stuff. I think I need to heat it up more. Let me heat this up more. All right, so I've heated it up more. We'll see how it tastes now. Mm, it just smells so good. Yeah, it's much too sweet. I don't like this. Uh, I love the smell of it. It smells really good. The taste is, mm. yeah, I'm just not going to drink that. <laughs> I think I'm two for six. Yeah. And two for six, the coffee flavors have definitely been the best, but these lattes and cappuccinos, no. The smell though, the smell is so good. <laughs> Okay, friends, today we are going to make egg toast in the air fryer. The other day we made banana bread in the air fryer. I was really pleased with how it turned out. And I saw this recipe on Pinterest and I wanted to give it a try. So what we need is two slices of bread, one for me, one for my mom, a coffee cup. And this is how I'm going to do it. You want to do this before you butter your bread because otherwise... Um, the bread will stick to your coffee cup. How do I know? Because I just tried it and that's what happened. So this is what I'm doing. I'm doing it on a dry piece of bread and then I'll butter it afterwards. So you get this little indentation like that. So then now we are going to butter our bread. And of course I am using grass fed butter because it's better than margarine, of course. And it's grass fed is because we don't want to use butter from a cow that has been fed grains that have glyphosate or GMO and Roundup, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why I opt to use um, grass fed butter. It's just better for us all the way around. All right, getting this buttered. I'm going to butter these and I'll be right back. Okay. I have my Ninja all preheated, preheated it. Now I'm going to take some aluminum foil because I don't have any pans left. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna fold it up on the bottom because I don't want any egg, ooh, that gets hot. <laughs> I don't want any egg leaking out. So now I'm just going to put my toast in here. Well, it looks like I can only do one at a time. So this is what it's looking like in there. And now I'm just going to do put my egg in here. We're only 
only going to do one at a time. Egg looks good, so I'm going to dump it on top of... Okay, let's take a look at that, see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like in the pan. I have set my um, temperature to 375 degrees. I'm going to slowly put my pan in here. And then we're going to put this to, we're gonna do six minutes because I did preheat it. So I'm gonna let this run for six minutes and we will be back. And we are going to set this for six minutes and then we will be back. All right, this is how the first one turned out. I am not pleased with this. So I'm going to eliminate the Reynolds wrap and then I'm going to put the egg on just the regular pan, just without the, the aluminum foil. So we're gonna try that and see how that works. All right, so the egg and the toast is sitting at the bottom of the pan. This time I lowered it to 350 degrees and I'm doing seven minutes. Okay, <laughs> the air fryer just turned off. Let's see what this one looks like. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We need a spatula. So we're gonna get the spatula to get the bread out. And look at that. Perfect, okay. This one is going to be for my mom. I ate the other one, even though it didn't look the best, it really did taste good. And I really like the toast in here. If you put the toast in the toaster, sometimes the settings aren't right. I, this is exactly how I like my toast, light golden brown. So this recipe is definitely a winner. Oh, and make sure you follow the recipe to a T. Sometimes you have to change things up, Sometimes if you change things up, they don't work out right, which I discovered because I was thinking, oh, the egg's going to go on the pan, but it didn't. It stayed perfectly in the toast. Okay, friends, that is going to conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's content. I will see you tomorrow in Vlogmas Day number 17.